good morning everyone so uh, we are going to log in into this ux handed uh, server so to get this uh, server uh, I'm, I'm sharing you the details the host name username and password i'm sharing it with you uh, in, in the in the chat but here what we are going to do in the system is like we have to make sure we first run this wds initialize initialize adm hyphen wds is what you need to run and you need to execute it that's the step number one we have to do and then we need to go and uh, go into this uh, visual visual studio code it will already be there if it is there then what will happen is if you go to the my documents in the my documents will have something called vs code so you just need to open this vs code and here we need to click on extract sap fury tools so you need to click on extract sap fury tools double click on it and it executes and this actually you know brings in the extraction of all the details that are required for the fury front-end application so as we discussed fury is a front-end application and we're going to work on it so the way we look at the screens and the way we look at the data will be completely different when we start using the fury application um, this is something which is an upgraded version of how do we see so instead of logging into sap gui and uh, then uh, you know accessing some screens reports and all we can actually directly see the data from the fury applications this is only for the front end So once it gets extracted, uh, we'll be able to uh, you know, use the Fury application. The second time it again asks for uh, entering simply. So click just click on enter. And uh, once this uh, you know, Fury application is successfully been uh, installed, you can just click on this Visual Visual Studio Code to see this type application. We'll get a few of this uh, release notes in here. This is something which we will just take note right now. And this is the, the the Visual Studio Code where we can actually start building. So we just activated the front end, and now what are we going to do is we are going to normally log in into the uh, on, on the logon pad. You'll already by default will have these two servers. You'll set the first one. And you're going to give this as train hyphen your your number, and then the default password will be welcome twenty twenty. And you change the password. And then switch changing the password so it's logs in. So this is what uh, uh, we have successfully logged in into the SAP system. Here. Now open the Chrome in your system. So once you open the Chrome here in, in the internal in the system, you'll have something called this application lifecycle, and we have this some host, and here you are going to have this SAP Fury Launchpad. You have to click on this. To open the Fury Launchpad. Okay, so this is a Chrome. Open the Chrome, and you'll by default see these values. And so these all options will already be there. So whatever username and password that you have given there needs to be given here to be logged in. The same thing that you have given just now. You have. Uh, Reset the password. So if you have reset the password, the reset password has to be given here.
please remember so whatever you have changed in the sap logon uh, that that new user in new password has to has to be given there so this is the launch pad fury launch pad so this is the this is the step one of accessing the fury launch pad and uh, we will design our applications here these are the front end applications so let's first explore a few of them which are already existing these are the predefined ones so if let's say we have this uh, coming down these are for different uh, different modules so let's say i'm clicking on roadmap viewer solution manager and that's that's an application these are all front end applications so this is something which you can see and um, it again asks for security because uh, they have actually developed a security system again here but otherwise like if it's a easily accessible one uh, by default one then you, you can if you can just click normally it will it will take you there so if you observe here so what exactly we're doing is this is the launch that link that we have here you know, and uh, this is the fury application and we can start building our applications here 